Hey, old Phantom DC here, going to be reacting to Watchmen Season 1, Episode 1. So let's get to reacting. Hmm, starting at like a silent movie. What you doing with the sheriff? Damn, corrupt sheriff. Bass Reeves? What's she crying for? What the hell's going on outside? That freaking a cool Klux Klan? Not his damn hatred. Uh, parents gonna die. We're gonna be right you. No, that's definitely confirming it, Dad. Ah. Uh. Hey, get your thumb out your mouth, boy. Yeah, that's a bad habit. Oh, come on. Damn. We just witnessed his parents' kicks. Oh. Watch over this boy. Oh, baby. <laughs> Gotta pull over. How are you? What you drinking, man? Oh, uh, Coca Cola, sir. Is it? Lettuce. Lettuce. Yes, sir. It's probably not lettuce. Oh, that Roshak mask. I need weapons off of who's on the desk. Panda, I'll patch you through. Shit, no, wait, is there anyone else? Someone named Panda? Probability of firearms and or explosives in the vehicle. Hi. What's your overall perceived threat level from the subject? Hi. Just buzz me, okay? Stand by. Like, by this time, the suspect could have easily just, like, left. Or killed him. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Come on. I could see that happening, like, so many times. Well, be damned. He actually had lettuce. It's catchy. Damn, he's still alive? I thought he'd be dead. You want me to call in Red Knight? No. Man, call her in. Let him sleep. She gonna be pissed. Why in Christ's name would they start this shit up again? Maybe there was something in the truck that he didn't want found. Something like what? This is something. Roberta. I'm gonna deliver the bad news to the wife. I'm just. Did he tell anyone that he was police? That's against the rules. Yeah. Strict rules. But people still talk. And it's the proteins that form the walls of those... Hey, Dr. Manhattan! When I was a little girl in Vietnam, we called them mooncakes. And were you born there before or after it became a state? Vietnam uh, state. A couple years before. I was one of the cops who got attacked on the white night. White night? That was before police officers were allowed to wear masks. So the bad guys, they, they knew who I was and they knew where I lived and they came to my house and they shot me. Damn. And the doctors, they had to pull apart my insides to find the bullet. This is too much information in front of these kids. <laughs> like, <laughs> should have stopped this story way early. Your bakery. Did you pay for it with red predation? Tommy. No <laughs> damn kid. Why'd you hit him? Cause you wanted to hit him. He's ten years old. You still wanted to. I like this kid. What the hell is happening? What 
the freaking squid? Ah, comic book reference. This little big one. I gotta go to the bakery. You pick up Rosie from school? Like a page to go to the bakery? You think I can lift two hundred pounds? Sure, you could. Hell, if he can lift two hundred pounds, I better lift two hundred pounds. And here I thought she just wanted to cook some cookies and bakery goods and stay away from bullets. They even bothered or not. We are the seventh cavalry. We are no one. We are everyone. We are invisible. I hate that we're in his mask. Never compromise. Three years of peace. And we convinced ourselves that they were gone. But they were just hibernating. <laughs> That's what White Walkers. We know where their caves are. Panda, buzz out the guns. Wait a minute. That's the panda from earlier? <laughs> Mascot panda head. Can be authorized only if a majority of the police force believe their lives are under direct, immediate threat. Firearms release is authorized. No. There's a guy in my trunk. She said this so casually. I knew you were gonna tell us to round up the likelies. I just gotta jump on things. I got a nose for white supremacy, and he smells like bleach. <laughs> really? Do you associate with members of the white supremacist organization known as the Seventh Cavalry? All these images and questions he cracked. Members of the off the charts on the bias questions. Eyes dilated on all the roar shocks. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh. Uh -huh. Like I said, bleach. <laughs> oh my gosh. Damn. Got the info. Shit, they're moving. Go. Go now. Emma's got a good security system. Down, down, everybody down. <laughs> they were prepared. Oh, damn, those cows. Oh, good time to go forward during reloading. Got him. He did. Good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Night Owl's flying vehicle. They're in possession of it? At least they got the plane. Yeah, they better not die. Ah, Ozzy Mendes. Is he naked? We just discarded some drawings of a temple. Pocket watch. This is where most intricate. Some people claim that you are to blame as much as I. Kissing. Do I take that plane you blew up? There's a couple of hundred of them in well, there. Can't you just buy those at any old store? No, not anymore. They're the old kind. The synthetic lithium, the ones that were making people sick. No. Uh, I get it. Cowboys gonna make a cancer ball. Maybe you shouldn't drive. Like, I you should just wait in the morning, man. Damn. Oh, it was planned. They knew he was coming. Who is this? Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, she got guns everywhere. Wait. That's a freaking 
guy in a wheelchair from earlier. Whoa. That freaking no he ha nah 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 nah. So now to get on, that was a good start for the first episode of Watchmen for starters. Literally when the episode ended, like I rewind the back a little just to see like what the hell was on, you know, the um old man in the wheelchair's lap. And you can see that it's like that same paper <laughs> that the freaking little boy in the beginning of the episode had. So I'm guessing that's literally him X amount of years later. <laughs> and on top of that, when Regina King's character was opening up the store and he asked her, Do you think I can like lift up two hundred pounds? Like, I doubt he like really <laughs> like did that but at the same time this is like a universe where freaking you know dr manhattan exists so <laughs> oh yeah that like x amount of freaking easter eggs like left and right in this episode like the freaking squid thing i'm like okay so i'm guessing that's freaking you know hinting towards a freaking like giant squid you know reference from the comics i think that's the thing the movie changed you know and it's like are they like sticking true to the freaking comic and just like okay whatever happened to the movie didn't really happen or something I don't know, but but then again, it's so because like when they were doing like the freaking the pits of uh, freaking images, I swore like he was kind of so like a giant squid there too or something, or maybe it was like some type of other freaking like thing that was like an image, but who knows, who knows though, but ah oh, man, the freaking, what was his name, was he like the chief of the police department? Like, I was liking his character, especially when he was, like, freaking singing during the dinner table, and then he ended up dying at the end of the episode. Like, really? I hate when it comes to shows where you begin to, like, like a character, and they end up killing him. But, damn, they really were just, like, laying down, you know, the whole rules thing with the freaking police department. That uh, if you're either a policeman or in the um, Regina King's character, I gotta learn her name. A vigilante. I think she, at one point that she said, like, oh, she was, like, a police woman, and then after was at the, um... The White Knight incident or whatever. I know it's something with the White incident. She, you know, she supposedly started, like, freaking, like, making cookies and other freaking bakery stuff. But, no, she became a vigilante. But even then, so people could possibly, like, put two and two together. <laughs> like, when she was a policewoman, she was that badass. They probably would have connected to the vigilante. Like, inevitably. But who knows. But who was the person who did call her? Was it the guy in the freaking wheelchair? <laughs> and if so, god damn it. <laughs> he knew. Unless he was like a, some type of spotter or something, he's like, oh, I kind of know, you know, about like who you are and stuff. Maybe he's like kind of like the lookout, but oh my gosh, this freaking episode on the Calvary. Like, seriously, again, why well, I gotta be freaking wearing, you know, the same freaking type of mask that Roshak had? Like, disrespectful. And they freaking are waiting, you know, to do the, what is it, a type of cancerous bomb, whatever it is, whatever they're planning. Like, stop them, get rid of them. But until then. Actually, no, before I even sign off, I need some answers to how the hell they got freaking Night Owl's freaking flying vehicle. Like, did he just gave it up? Did he die and he just, you know, just took it or something? Like, I know freaking Osmosis in this. I know who else is supposed to be in here. I know there's like another, is there two other characters or something from freaking The Watchmen that are supposed to still be alive and crap? I know, yeah, um, Dr. Manhattan, freaking Osmosis. Osmandis, hopefully, I'm probably butchering that name. I think there's like another character or so that's supposed to be from the Watchmen series as well. It's supposed to be in here. I'm not sure if Night of Freaking Owl is alive or dead, but can't wait to see how it freaking happens. But anywho, like or dislike the video. Comment what you guys saw the episode. Hey, if you're new, please subscribe. I'm Fan and be saying, and I am signing off.